to start off, Renee, I have to know which fandom is the more is the more intense fandom, the Marvel fans or the Hamilton fans? Oh my gosh, what a what a what a mean question to ask. Uh-huh. Um, you know, I I'm just discovering the Marvel fans. I I, I am a Marvel fan, so it, it'll be interesting to see. I, I just appeared in the Marvel universe today. Um, what I have from Hamilton is. Uh, quite a few years now of experience of uh, people that, you know, loved something and they continue to support and love it. And that the longevity in, in that kind of support really slays me. So um, I know that I am that kind of Marvel fan, you know, loving things for a very long time. So I have a feeling that in the end, I will love them both. I'm sure the Marvel fans will love to hear that. <laughs> and then Josh, speaking of Marvel fans, your character Pug especially in today's episode, kind of established himself as a big superhero fan. Were you a big MCU nerd before you took on the role? Absolutely. You know, uh, it's, uh, it's, I'm a collector, you know, I I put out my, a couple of things that I have in my office, you know, that I want to showcase, you know, I've got wrestling figurines back there. I've got all my signed memorabilia up there. I've got, I've got different pieces of art that I've gotten over the years. I've got all the comics I think I have every, I think I almost have, I can't claim every single one, but I've almost got every issue of She-Hulk that's out, including the newest ones. So, you know, that's, uh, that's part of, uh, it's part of what I love about Pug, is that he's a collective. Yeah. Um, Renee, since Hamilton, you've kind of taken on a lot of more funny, sillier kinds of roles, especially on a show like She-Hulk and also a show like Girls 5 Eva. What, was that kind of shift sort of intentional or did it just happen with the projects you took on post Hamilton? You know, I've actually done quite a few different things um, because I, I, I was on a uh, show called Altered Carbon for many years. So I think the first thing I did when I left was I wanted to be my own version of a superhero and I became this intergalactic, you know, warrior scientist. Uh, and then I think I did Henrietta Lacks. Um, I played it, uh, a mother in the, in the really intense drama Waves. Uh, so I've been trying to just kind of keep uh, changing what I'm doing um, based upon, you know, how challenging it is. And I'm grateful for the opportunity to do some things that have seen, seen, seemed a little scary, uh, but have ended up working out. This, this role in, in the Marvel Universe and She-Hulk was a little scary, actually, because I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to, you know, have the opportunity to do. And I think taking the risks are always worth it in the end. Speaking of scary, romances are scary. Um, Josh, in the comics, Pug kind of has an unrequited, a bit of a one-sided crush on Jennifer slash slash She-Hulk. Will we see any of that storyline kind of play out here throughout the season? I think you might already see it play out. You know, like when you see Pug enter that office for the first time, come on, like, how are you not gonna be like, oh my gosh, She-Hulk is here. Jen Walters is here. Like, wow, it's so nice to meet you. I think it's already in him, you know? Will we see it play out the way it does in the comics? Maybe not this first season, but just know that it's inside of him. It's inside of him. (laughs) And then, of course, we've already seen Megan Thee Stallion pop, Stallion, Megan Thee Stallion pop up on the show. Who are your dream celebs that you'd love to see cameo on She-Hulk? Oh my gosh, who? Who, Josh? Well, all right, so Pug in the comic book gets saved by Spider-Man. So, and that's why he dedicates his life to protecting superheroes. So I'm just wondering what Tom's doing. I'm just, you know, he might be, if he's busy, it's just a day. One day, we shoot the scene, we can do the, you know, I'm just wondering what they're, Andrew, what's up, bro, you know? <laughs> Toby, Toby? Where we at, fellas? Toby? You know where yeah. we at, fellas? Multiverse yeah. crossover there. Yeah. Just saying, you know. Multi- multiverse level. Come on. What's up? Renee, what about you? Oh, I'm 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 sticking with his answer. Um, I've really <laughs> loved um I, I love that like there's just no there's no hold bar, no holds bar. Like, you know, it's it's surprises from the Marvel universe and then totally random. Here's Megan Thee Stallion. So, you know, you know, Beyonce's promoting an album right now. It's very good. Um, you know, I'd love her to be here. I'd also love to see, you know, any other any other powerful, specifically women characters from other um, from like the Marvel universe. I, I, I want them to come here and play or I'm available. <laughs> I can go there. <laughs> 
So obviously the show is kind of a mix of the MCU superhero genre, but also with a courtroom series. Well, did you take any inspiration from any specific courtroom shows or characters? I, I definitely have been on quite a few of them myself. So it, it definitely gives me a, a confidence when I'm doing those scenes. Um, I just, you know, I always thought I wanted to be a lawyer and then I realized what I really wanted was to play one on television. <laughs> so uh, so I, think, uh, I think what they did in the courtroom scene was create everything I ever dreamed of. Absolutely. I mean, you know. Minus maybe a musical number, Josh. I don't know. I know. Maybe that's what we're missing. That's Me and you. She hulked the musical. Yeah. Let's go. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> I guess just as a final wrap up, what has it been like joining the MCU in general? It's been a dream come true. You know, like, I think for a lot of my friends, it's been a dream come true. <laughs> you know, like, specifically, I can think of a few right now that I was really excited to text, you know? And I was like, you are not going to believe what's going to happen, you know? And it's, uh, it's a very cool thing. It'll never, it'll, never, it'll never stop being incredible. It's a progressive revelation for me, meaning I'm, I'm, I continue to discover every day really? kind of what's so special about it. I mean, now just today airing for the first time, I'm, I'm gonna discover even more because it's, you know, it's not gonna be a secret anymore. People are gonna know I'm a part of it. And, and they're going to know a little bit about what I enjoyed doing a couple of like, what is it, a summer and a half ago? Um, yeah. I um, most importantly love just how I feel like they, they treat everybody, whether you have super power, how, superhero powers or not. I feel like they treat us all a bit like superheroes. Um, I really enjoyed being a part of the universe for the reasons that no one sees. And that's just, you know, feeling really welcomed and really well taken care of and, uh, and really dreamed for. It's been very nice. Yeah.